Hello there, cassette community. Uh, Dan here, Vinyl Fury, um, and I have bought a lot of cassettes the last several weeks. Um, some that I picked up for a dollar at uh, a thrift store, uh, several that I've purchased online, mostly through Amazon's uh, marketplace. There are a lot of cassettes there for pretty good prices. Some are like a penny to 50 cents to a dollar. They're all three dollars shipping, so usually the seller um, kind of works the pricing with that shipping costs, so it's overall less than five dollars. Uh, I've gotten some really good stuff that I'm really excited about for very l little money, especially compared to uh, some of the vinyl counterparts to these albums that I may never get. Um, first off, three albums that have been incredibly uh, important and special to me. Uh, first three albums from Silverchair. Uh, Frog Stump, Freak Show, and Neon Ballroom. Um, this came out when I was 11 years old. And it was incredibly inspiring to me that these kids that are only a few years older than me were making awesome rock music. And uh, it, that was the catalyst for making me finally like start playing music on my own. Um, I started playing drums um, pretty much right after that. Uh, so this was, this was big for me. Um, and it's still a really good album. They, they were 14, 15 years old when they recorded this. And I still enjoy listening to it. Um, and they've progressed a lot. Even the couple years between albums, their albums just get better and better and more complex and well-crafted. Um, this is Freak Show from 97. Um, still like an alternative rock sound very influenced by uh, Helmet and those uh, those kind of bands from the early 90s. But getting a more uh, a more uh, a style of their own and uh, a lot of really good arrangements and uh, melodies and it really took a step up with Neon Ballroom in 1999. Um, a lot of orchestral stuff just really amazing songs and they were 19 years old when they made this and it's still a very 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 good album and all of these on cassette including shipping were less than $15 and to get all those on vinyl would be at least 300 they, they go for just ridiculous prices they're very limited pressings of those albums and I I will have them someday, but uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a while before I can justify spending that kind of money. But those are really special albums to me, and to to get those on vinyl will be uh, really really cool someday. Another record that uh, from the mid '90s, uh, Handsome. This is a self-titled 1997 on Sony. Uh, features one guitarist of Helmet and one guitarist of Quicksand. So, really awesome heavy riffs. Um, produced by Terry Date, who produced uh, most of the Deftones albums. Really, really great alternative rock post hardcore record. Never pressed on vinyl. So, I was really excited to get this on cassette. It was sealed, it was only like four bucks. And I listened to the first side, and then uh, I was looking at it, um, trying to fast forward to the end, and only one, one, uh, one wheel was turning. I was like, what the heck is going on? So I pulled it out, and the tape had come off the spindle at the end of the side, and there's no way to open up the tape and fix it or anything like that, except like breaking it and putting it in a new case. And a friend of mine got the same tape and had the same problem. So I don't know how that happened, but now I can't listen to it, which is a real bummer because it sounded pretty good. 
thankfully the seller re refunded me, even the shipping price. So I didn't lose anything. I was really bummed that I can't finish listening to this. So I'll try to find another copy and just kind of avoid getting to the end of the tape. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Um, I also got this sealed, uh, Tears for Fears Elemental. This is the first album with just Roland, but it's still a really, really great album. Some really good songs. Uh, Break It Down Again was uh, a hit for them. This is uh, 1993. And uh, another one that's pretty expensive to get on vinyl from what I've seen. Uh, usually more than $30. Uh, usually a bit more than that. But it sounds good on tape, so happy to have that one. This one, I was really excited to get. Uh, this is Third Eye Blind, their first album, self-titled, on Atlantic. Uh, original pressing of this on vinyl is uh, usually more than $150, which is just nuts. Uh, I have heard that they're going to repress it. Um, a reissue label got the rights to it, apparently, and was working on the artwork and everything. But then the band said that they were going to do it themselves. So that's a good thing because they have access to their master tapes, so hopefully it'll be a good reissue. But Third Eye Blind is not known for being the most timely in uh, doing things. They've been working on their last record for three years, and the one before that took six years. So when it'll actually happen, I do not know. Hopefully soon, because I really like it on vinyl. But this cassette actually sounds really good. It's one of the best sounding cassettes that I've heard especially recently. Uh, there is a bit of tape dropped out uh, th through about like a minute of of the tape. But other than that, it's fantastic and it was only like seven dollars shipped, so that was a big find for me. Uh, Metallica, the Black Album. I'm um, still going to try to get this on vinyl, but for now the cassette is pretty, pretty good. Only a few dollars for that one. These are really nice finds for me. Uh, the first two albums by Duncan Sheik. Uh, if you don't know who Duncan Sheik is, you would recognize a song from this called Barely Breathing. It was one of the most played songs of 1996... Uh, 1997. This came out in late 96, and that, that single was huge. Um, nominated for a Grammy for that one. And it's a, you know, it's a good pop song. But this album and his whole catalog is much, much deeper than that. Uh, and I really, really enjoy his work. Um, if you like Nick Drake, Jeff Buckley, Elliot Smith, um, look deeper into Duncan Cheek's uh, catalog. He's, he's a really, really good songwriter. Um, there's a song right here, actually, that's about Jeff Buckley and his death called The Body Goes Down. It's really, really beautiful, uh, well-crafted song. Um, but I really love his entire catalog. I think he's, I think he's fantastic. I actually got to meet him one time. Um, he's a really, really nice, humble guy and, uh, puts on a great live show. I've seen him several times. And these are both sealed, uh, on Atlantic Records. Neither one of these is on vinyl, so this is the best, uh, I can get with analog. Really, really happy to have those. I got this for like 25 cents. It's a Sting's album, uh, Ten Summoner's Tales. This is the only solo Sting record that I really like. I still really like it. Um, and this is a, uh, a chrome cassette, so that's probably going to sound pretty good. I haven't listened to it yet. But um, another one that's not easy to get out of vinyl, probably more than it's worth to me, but uh, I still really like that record and I'm excited to listen to that on tape. Um, this is, uh, I think, the third album from Live, uh, Secret Samadhi, 97. I don't remember this one all that well, um, but I really loved Throwing Copper, which uh, I actually just got this today, just came in. 
uh, I really like this album and I was looking at the final copies online very rare that they even see them online and there's one that's on Discogs from a seller in France I believe and the price of it in American dollars is like six hundred and fifty dollars for a record I don't think that'll ever sell uh, but I have seen it uh, sell for several hundred so this I may not ever have on vinyl but uh, it looks like a, a pretty good cassette pressing so I'm excited to listen to this um, great great album excited to have that um, two more I got these for a dollar each at a thrift store uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers Blood Sugar Sex Magic it's a dick log cassette and uh, Faith No More uh, The Real Thing which has a blue uh, label uh, so that's probably going to be pretty good as well. Um, yeah, a lot of cassettes. Still at least a dozen more that I've gotten uh, over the last month to show you in another video. So uh, until then, take care. Enjoy your music.